D-S-L-R Film Noob Alright guys, what I've got for you today is the Must HDM 702H Field Monitor. This thing will set you back about $399 and it includes an MP Sony style battery mount as well as a power cord HDMI cable and a remote control to operate some of the features. Notice battery is not included. The unit is mostly plastic with your regular set of features on the front. Flipping it over to the back, you'll see that we have these nice locking HDMI ports, which actually do a pretty decent job. We've also got a battery plate that can be adapted to multiple batteries, as well as composite and the regular bits. Flipping out the sun hood, you'll notice that it has a foam pad around it, which keeps down reflection. It is rather large though, so keep that in mind if you're trying to travel light. Also built-in protection for the screen. Close up at the front, the buttons do glow when you press them, which is kind of nice. And you've got a focus peaking setting, which isn't bad, but it's the white sort of stenciled variety as opposed to the red that I prefer. Uh, it's also got a zoom feature that goes all the way up to 1.9x if you're trying to check critical focus. You also have this handy scale mode if you're trying to shoot anamorphic. Otherwise, I would say just leave that in auto. You also have false color as well as several other features that can be programmed into the F1, F2, and F3 key. In this case, it's a histogram and F3 is programmed to an audio level meter, which is handy if your camera does not support audio level indication. Plugging in the adapter, you can see that it has a mirrored set of function keys, F1, 2, and 3. And if you press those, it activates whatever you have set to those controls on the front of the panel. Pretty decent and easy to attach to a tripod arm. In the menus, nothing too exciting here. Pretty much your basic setup. Easy to scroll through, easy to find what you're looking for, and pretty simple functionality. Nothing horrible, nothing hard to find and easy to use. On the downside of this monitor though, the boot time is rather atrocious. I've timed this a couple times and it ends up being about 17 seconds. And the first few seconds, you have nothing on screen, so you don't even know if you turned it on other than the click from the switch. Finally, we get some indication that something's happening and finally we get a display. So keep that in mind, the boot time is somewhat annoying. You also have to buy other adapters for batteries separately. This is an LPE6 adapter. Uh, the original monitors from Must HD are a bit smaller than the current version. This one next to it is the five inch variant. Uh, the display does look nicer on the newer 702H and the size uh, reflects that it's a bit bulkier. Uh, as far as outputs and inputs, you are missing the SDI ports and the batteries that come with the unit, which is unfortunate, but otherwise pretty decent overall little monitor. 399 is fairly competitive. There are a lot of seven inch monitors on the market. So this is one to check out if you do like the built-in screen protector and the high resolution. On the downside, batteries aren't included, but if you have a bunch of NP batteries in your collection, you're probably in pretty good shape. Anyway, I hope that helps a few of you who are looking at new field monitors. There are definitely a lot out there to choose from.